Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to the second part of our Let's Try Mega Mech, the computerized simulator for tabletop battle tech. It is free and open source and all that good stuff. You can play it online with people, you can do play by email if you want, and uh, you can load in some bots, which is what we've done here. We've got two teams. On the opposing team is Bad Bot, and they are the people in the red and yellow checkered mechs over here. And on the other team, is me and Brussels bot. I am only controlling a single bot here, the trebuchet here, and Brussels bot is controlling the three others. Both teams are equal in terms of what their mechs are. And uh, yeah, now we are going into the second round of combat. I rolled the best on initiative, so I get to move last. Everyone else has already moved. Now, what am I gonna do? I got the spider here that is flanking behind my own team's catapult, which is not ideal. This guy's gonna take some damage to his uh, his rear, which is the the, the most um, uh, the most fragile arc. You have very most mechs because you know you're usually fo facing your opponent have a lot less armor in the rear. Uh, we don't get a really cool armor diagram uh, on this one, but you can see what's going on here. We've got uh, this is our cells that we're looking at. We've taken some damage to the right arm over here. So we've got five parts, points of armor left in the right arm. Uh, and I think 10 is what we originally had over here. I think everything else is undamaged, but you can see the rear arc. So like our center torso in the front has 22 armor. In the rear, it only has seven. Internal structure isn't split between front and rear. So if you get through the rear armor, then you can really start to apply a lot of, um, a lot of internal structure damage. Can we get, it'd be nice if there was, I don't know if there's a way to get the heat chart in the game to know like what the modifiers are at various levels. I'm basically having to keep a web page open for something like that. Anyway, so I would love it if I could just beat the crap out of this spider. Now, um, I don't really want to spread out damage too much. Is it possible that the only mech we damaged last round, I don't know if there's a way to get the, um, the log of what happened previously. Wow, you can highlight best or possible moves, best possible modifiers. Really? Oh, that's neat. I don't really understand that one, but I appreciate that it is a thing that exists. Um, no, how do I... Show possible moves. Okay. Oh, is it... Am I swapping the option here? Okay, that's slightly confusing what's going on. We'll leave it be as is. Anyway, um, so I would like to, sp to punish the spider for coming into range over here. Although, did it did it move this turn? How did it move? Can I get info? Yeah, it jumped. It jumped far, so it's going to be very hard to hit. On the other hand, I could sort of point blank range it with some lasers and follow it with a melee attack, which might be nice. Now, if I were to click here by default, you can walk through friendly people. You can't end up in the same tile as them, but you can walk through friendly people. I could walk somewhere like that. I don't think that makes much sense, but if I hit the backup button, what I could do is I could back up this way. So I'm gonna back up, facing change, back up, um, and then I could turn to face again, but I'm willing to bet we probably could have done that without quite as much trouble, but still. Um, in the end, I will end up facing the spider. You know, I'll have one extra move left. If I back up to say here, and then turn, so those are all five moves I can do with just a walk, um, which again, minimizes heat, minimizes my own to hit penalty, and also you can't run backwards. So if I do this, I can uh, end up in this tile facing the spider. I actually didn't need to necessarily turn because um, the your forward arc is these three tiles. So if I'm facing this way, these three tiles are on the forward arc. So the spider would have been in my forward arc anyway, but turning probably, I don't know, it probably doesn't make much sense, but damn it, it feels better. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I don't know if there's an absolute facing concern for like physical attacks, which I'm gonna follow up. My idea is I'm gonna laser the crap out of this dude and then kick him. And I'd much rather that than apply more damage to the, uh, to the heavy mech, which is gonna take more work to do. Uh, so yeah, let's lock that in as our move over here. So that's done. Now, I could still fire my LRMs. Let's start by considering our lasers over here. And so this guy, it's still a nine to hit because he moved so gosh darn much. I don't know if that uh, if that comes into play for the melee attack or not. Damn, that is not the greatest number. Well, okay, let's just consider our LRM attacks then. 
So we've got a couple of sevens. We can hit the catapult at a seven. We can hit the commando. This guy here at a seven? Wow. Or the opposing trebuchet. Now, I'm actually tempted to shoot at the commando. The commando is still pretty far away and isn't currently looking to be much of a threat. Uh, so again, he's got a medium laser and two SRMs. He's mostly a short range fighter here, and he's still pretty far away. If he does get close to someone, he's going to wreck him. He's very dangerous. Um, we could do that. I could apply more to the, um, to the catapult over here. I mean, we've already done a little damage to him. We can keep feeding that on. Seven's not too bad. Especially if I'm not lasering. I guess I'll do that. I'll keep applying um, the LRM shots to the catapult over here. Maybe we'll get lucky and, and you know, get something through and crit one of his systems. Uh, so we'll fire and we'll fire. And since my laser shots are pretty unlikely to hit, I still won't go for the heat build up on this, but I'm going to be very happy to melee attack this guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and declare that done. So let's go and look to see everything that concerns us. No one attacked us this turn. Yeah, no one attacked us. So it's us firing over here. We're firing at the catapult. We hit with nine missiles, um, hitting the uh, left arm over here, getting through all the armor, and doing some internal structure damage as well, which caused us to do a roll on the critical hit table, but nothing happened. And then we also did some damage to the left leg. Our second missile salvo hit, and only six missiles hit on this one. Again, it's a secondary roll. Uh, we hit the left arm again, which is good because it had no armor. And we rolled on the crit table, we rolled a 10. So that means double crit. So we crit twice on the LRM 15. Uh, now, I think only one crit is required to take out one of these weapons. Um, because it's the same LRM, I think, that happened here. Uh, and then we also, because uh, we hit six missiles, the last missile went and hit the right arm over there. Uh, but we got that. The, the left arm is actually almost completely removed from the catapult. And what's important is that we've dramatically reduced its damage output, which makes me feel fantastic. All right. So now we are in the physical attack phase over here, which got sort of auto-skipped for us last time because we didn't have it as an option. But oh, by the way, you can see little arrows as to what's going on too. Um, so the spider over here has declared it's going to melee uh, the catapult in some way. Uh, I think this is our spider over here, and it's been knocked prone. It's also taken a fair amount of damage and knocked over. Uh, this commando, this is ours, which is fine. And yeah, the catapult's taken a fair amount of damage. All right, so, I mean, we're definitely, we're going to target um, this... Um, this bot, and we have two options. We can either punch it or kick it. Now, you can't punch, I think, if you fired both arm weapons, but we didn't. We fired, I think, one of our arm weapons, but that's it. You can also go for a kick. Now, kick is guaranteed to be lower body damage. Punch is guaranteed to be upper body damage, I think. Um, if we miss the kick, then we might fall over. Although, if we kick someone, I think then they also have to do an, a roll to see if they stand up. Um, and I don't know if they'd have a harder time because of all their jumping and movement and stuff like that. I actually have no idea if that would tack on more modifiers. Tell you what, I'm going to go for the kick, just on the off chance that that's a thing. Uh, so we need an 8 to hit. Damage is 10 using kick table. If I say no, and I say punch instead, it's an 11 and or, because we fired that one. So it's actually, we're less likely to hit with a punch, and the punch does less damage. Okay, kicking it is. Thank you very much. Um, so the... Bad bot spider kicked at the at a Brussels bot catapult and did damage. We kicked at the spider, hit ten damage to the left leg, which went through all of its armor because it's not going to have much. Went to internal armor. Uh, however, we rolled no crit, unfortunately. And then people are going to see if they stood up. Or both the uh, both people did stay standing. Heat is going to generate over here. So we uh, right over here we gained eleven heat, one for moving and five twice for our missile fires, so we sank most of it. So our heat management's been really fine so far. Wow, we keep crushing it on the initiative. Again, we're going to move last. All right. Now, as the battles get a little bit more convoluted here, I find the bots do tend to take a little bit more time to calculate their movement, so we'll see. Uh, prone people are much easier to hit from an adjacent tile, but harder to hit from a distant tile. Still, I suspect the spider will spend two of its movement to attempt to stand up over here. And it is an attempt. You have to do a piloting check to see if you can stand. The enemy catapult is moving forward quite a bit. That's interesting. Russell's bot taking a long time to think about its next move over here. And I'm going to take some time, too. Wow, this spider really boogied. These light mechs have insane movement. It's great. All right, bad bot's going to move, I think, just its last spider here. It could get behind me, but then I could respond to that pretty quickly. All right, so we've got that. Now, 
And these ones with the red tags, even though it's counterintuitive, are my buddies over here. Um, so we've got the possibility of missile salvos. I'm kind of tempted to keep trying to land the abuse on this catapult. Since we've started to do it, and it's taken some damage, it feels like we should probably keep trying to whittle this down. But what I'm thinking is, uh, and right, you can even do charge attacks and stuff, but that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm wondering is if I move here, that's five move. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to melee in this situation, though. Um, so hold on, let's back up and say, if I just move here, and then you're already in my forward arc, but I'm going to make it explicit over here. We're going to turn facing this way. So I will have my choice of, well, lots of things, actually. I might consider missling the trebuchet, but I think I'd probably prefer to try to laser some stuff over here. And I could follow up with a melee attack to the spider, uh, which seems pretty good. And the spider can't melee attack me because it's not facing me, although um, it is the, the catapult's going to be in the forward arc. You, you can also do torso twisting uh, before you fire, so I suppose things could change. But we're going to go ahead with that. And a bunch of people have to make piloting checks because you are running and turning on pavement. So a bunch of people were doing that. You could slide. And the spider, who needed to get up from being knocked down, did successfully get up over there. Okay. Now people are declaring attacks. Um, looks like one, two, three enemy mechs are all firing on this catapult while our catapult is being hammered. Meanwhile, though, our catapult and our spider uh, both firing on the enemy catapult as well. So for ourselves, we probably, well, we, we probably do have an LRM shot over here. But again, with heat management and things, I think our best bet, uh, so you can see we need an eight to shoot the spider because he moves so much, but the catapult here only needs a six. I think what we do is we unload all three medium lasers at three heat each on the catapult over here. And we could consider... We could very much consider... Oh, you can see there was a slight arc difference um, between these weapons because the uh, arms... So if I look at a torso, that's my forward arc, but the left arm will also add an arc over here and the right arm will also add an arc over here. So if we alternate between the left arm and right arm, you can see what's going on there. Our mounted weapons are good for that. So do I build up a ton more heat by firing the LRMs? Eight's kind of our best shot. And that's not the greatest to hit chance. I think it would be silly to go and do that right now, especially since this would just be attacking uh, the enemy trebuchet over here, who is not yet damaged, so we're not really winning much. And we're going to give ourselves so many extra penalties from being overheated. So I'm just going to fire the lasers at the catapult. Done. And let's just take a look for anything that is specifically involving us. No one's firing at us. We're doing a fire against the catapult. Looks like we hit twice. Uh, with our lasers, we hit once in the right torso, it still has armor, and once in the left leg, it still has armor over there. Uh, the Our catapult is falling, because it took over 20 points of damage, it fell, which means it's going to take more damage. Um, luckily, the pilot himself didn't get damaged over there. And then the enemy catapult might also had to do a roll, because it took too much damage, but it successfully stood up. Which is slightly annoying. Okay, melee attack time. We are very happily going to go and kick at this spider once more. Seven or better lands it. Uh, so the spider is kicking at that down catapult. God, kicking a guy while he's down, that's rude. Uh, we are hitting the left leg of the uh, of the spider. Uh, we actually blew off the left leg. It has lost its leg over here. Because we'd already hit it, I think, in the left leg. Because um, I think we have got through its armor and went into the structure of the spider before. We failed to do a crit, but now we did enough damage to kill the left leg, because I think it only had three. Yeah, and then seven more transfers up where you, in this game, if you hit a section that's already been destroyed, or you destroy a section, but there's leftover damage, it transfers to the next thing. So this transferred the damage over to the left torso uh, over here, uh, which is funny. We rolled a critical hit on left leg, critical hit on foot. The foot's already gone. I guess that was left over from the internal structure, so that's moot because the section's already destroyed. Okay, that actually roll wasn't required. But then, yeah, we did the seven damage to the left torso, um, eliminating all the last single point of armor in the left torso, dealing six internal damage, which allows us to roll on the critical hit table. We rolled a nine, which is one crit. We rolled again for location, and we critted one of the jump jets, which isn't really going to have a huge impact on that guy, but we're tearing apart the spider. Of course, the spider's really squishy. So, yeah. Now, the spider himself must make three piloting rolls. Uh, one because of a uh, leg actuator hit, 
like Flash Foot Actuator hit. So I guess this critical hit does actually matter here because this caused an extra piloting roll. Then the leg being destroyed causes another piloting roll. Being kicked causes a piloting roll. And all those modifiers all um, can stack up together for various things. So uh, it did fall over on its right side, suffering three damage to its left torso, um, it, which generated a critical hit, although nothing happened. Crazy. I mean, the spider's pretty much burnt out, which is nice to see. Uh, this catapult's getting quite high at... Uh, oh, he's now at 12 heat. That's still quite a few different modifiers over here. I have... If you're sitting at 12 heat, let's see. So at 5, you lose a movement point. At 8, it's you get plus 1 to hit, so that's a difficulty for you to hit people. Uh, at 10, you lose... A, you're down a total of 2 movement points. Uh, and that's it. If he hits 13 hit, he'll get another penalty to hit, though, uh, which would be kind of nice. All right, new round. Once again, I end up with the best initiative. Oh, my God, this is working out, well, great for me individually. But as a team, this might not be the, the greatest single result in the universe. It'd be great if the spider failed to stand up again. Uh, I don't think we know that until... I think everyone declares their moves, and then you do all the rolls for it. I'm not sure. And of course, there's a there's a chat box here, too. I mean, there's no chatting going on right now. Um, you can actually communicate to your ally bot as well. Um, I, I don't know what the commands are, but you can actually say something like, hey, Brussels bot, be more aggressive or something like that. You can check the help files for more info. So that's our spider getting behind the enemy mechs over here. Very nice. Is this me now? It is me. So the spider, I mean, I'm sure the spider is going to attempt to stand up. I'm still missing a leg, which is going to make its life very bad. I'd like to finish this guy off, but I think now he's not going to be able to move very far with the missing leg. His movement is a one, and it's going to cost him two to stand up, which you're allowed to do, as far as I know. Um, you can you can do that. Um, there's a few things like if you haven't moved at all, it's it's sort of the old um, like Civ Five movement rules where if you're trying to enter some sort of difficult terrain and you don't have enough movement, but it's your first move of the thing, um, then you can go and still do it, like, somehow. There's there's a thing. I remember reading it. So I bet you he could try to stand up, but I don't think he's going to be able to move out of here. Now, there's still some things you can do when you're down on the ground. Um, as a mech, you can prop yourself up with one arm, fire the weapon that's on the other arm, as well as torso and head weapons, I think. So this guy's not completely out of it, but um, what I think I'm going to do is not move. And the reason for that is, if I don't move, I won't get any penalties to hit. I mean, I'll be fairly easy to hit, but that should be okay. Um, this is an enemy trebuchet over here, which is going to be in the sweet spot range for my uh, LRMs. Alternatively, depending on how I want to manage the heat, I can just laser this commando a bunch. I could also laser the spider, but... <sighs> Let's take a look at it. Has it lost any weapons? No. It's got the two center things. Um, how's its armor... You know, it actually has quite a bit. We actually may end up just firing at the spider and taking it out of the picture completely. Left leg missing, be damned. What's nice about it, it's going to be much easier for, hit the, for us to hit the center torso now because of the... If we roll any hits on the left leg or left torso... Uh, no, sorry, it won't, it won't enter... Okay, any of the hits on the left leg will transfer to the left torso. The left torso still exists. It has three points of structure, though not much. So very likely, this is going to get blown off. It'll lose the arm. Not that that matters, because it's not where it weapons are. But it'll start to transfer more damage to the center torso. It actually will be kind of tricky to kill this, um, unless we fire everything. So we might just fire everything at the spider here. So in any case, I'm just going to go and stand where I am. I won't generate any heat from movement. I won't get any penalties to hit, although I won't also become harder to hit. Uh, the bad spider over here fails to stand up. So it means it, it tries to start standing up. It fails, so it falls over again because it's got plus five to its roll. Five plus five, it needs a ten. I probably would have just stayed down. So it falls again, falling on its left side, taking some damage to its left arm, which is kind of meaningless because at this point, it's going to lose the left arm as soon as it loses its torso. Um... It then is going to, oh, try to avoid damage to the pilot, which it's failed. So uh, the pilot's taking a couple of hits over there. And then it needs to do a roll to stay conscious because it's damaged. It's only five, though, at two points of damage, so it does that. So he's, Kathleen is still conscious, but hurt, and her bot is still on the ground, which is going to be great for my two hit rolls. Uh, Brussels bot's commando over here, uh, oh my god, is running and turning on pavement. It needed a four. It rolled a three. So he, uh, he she, Thirchara. I don't know. Whatever. This commando uh, falls over and on its side taking a little bit of damage and it means it's also prone, which sucks. Grr. 
yeah, the skidding movement and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. The catapult manages to get up. All right. So everyone's declaring their fire. All of our opponents are all targeting our catapult over here, which is pretty terrible. But what can we do about it? Now, we might need to do some like crazy alpha strike stuff here. If we take a look. Oh, five. Wait. Who's this targeting? The trebuchet. The trebuchet over here, I can hit it with LRM fire on a five or above. And he's actually already started to take some damage. Really? Yeah, he hasn't lost any structures or body parts, but he has no armor in this leg, in this torso. I guess the, this left leg, zero armor left, but no internal damage. I guess the star, star, star means it's starting to take internal damage, but it's got very little left. Oh, sorry, I'm targeting the spider. Oh, that is the spider. Where's the trebuchet? Oh, is this the trebuchet here? Oh, see, I didn't expect that. Yeah, so my spider is kind of effed. So the trebuchet still has taken damage, though, but not as much. Yeah, I was expecting it to be this one because it's in the, sw the sweet spot. Surprising, this one's like one into the min range and it's still fairly easy to hit. Okay. Um, view myself. So... We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to generate a lot of heat this turn, but it's going to it's gonna have to be. So we're going to fire both LRMs at the trebuchet, because we need a fiver above to do it, which is sweet. And then the medium laser, even the trebuchet, we only need a six or above to hit. On the other hand, we need a three or above to hit the spider, because um, we actually get a penalty of one because it's a secondary target, but clearly this guy didn't move. And we actually get an improvement of minus two because he's prone and adjacent. And I think the right answer is just to go and remove the spider from the game. So I'm going to do this. We might be overkilling. But hey, that's the way it goes. All right. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Oh, here we go. Weapons fire for me. Did no, did, I don't think anyone shot me at a glance. So that's good. So we are firing the lerms at the trebuchet. Uh, we hit for six missiles. Boom, boom. Armor hit. Hit for nine missiles. Armor... Uh, and this is what? Right leg. So we actually, both of these, uh, the second missile cluster, both clusters hit the right leg. Um, so we got through there, rolled a crit for two locations, critical hit and lower leg, critical hit on hip, which is going to give it a huge penalty to all kinds of stability stuff. Um, so the enemy trebuchet right over here must make two piloting rolls because of the, the leg slash foot hit and the hip hit over here. It actually fails. It needed eight, rolled a four over here, falls over, uh, taking some more damage. Nice. Okay, physical attack. We're going to go ahead and kick a guy while he's down. Uh, there's this more button. I don't know if I've shown this off, but there's like more options over there. Uh, they're they're all, uh, frequently less common ones, but it is going to be there. So yeah, we'll just kick a guy while he's down to hit. We need a one. So we can't, we can't fail because it's 2d6, so two's the minimum. So 100% guaranteed hit uh, for 10 damage. Boom. We kicked him directly, well, we actually kicked him in the left torso, which doesn't exist, so it transferred all the damage to the center torso. 10 damage directly to the center torso eliminates the uh, the bot. The critical hit on the engine made no difference whatsoever um, because we would have had three crits to kill an engine, but we actually just did, it, did enough to remove the center torso. So that was excellent. Lasering him and everything is good. However, now we're running a bit hotter at 11 heat. I think that's only the, the plus one difficulty to hit, which isn't too bad, uh, and a fair penalty to movement, but I'm not as concerned. The question is mostly going to be, what do we do now? So we, we finally rolled quite poorly for initiative. Although our, as a team, uh, we oh, these are tiebreakers is what's going on here. Both teams rolled a five, so there's a tiebreaker. Our team rolled better. So as a team, we're winning. Individually, I'm going to run a, a roll quite early on here. Um, so I really want to avoid having anyone come behind me. In particular, the commando is really scary with all of its smurms. It can be really, really bad. So I think my plan is I'm just going to back up as much as possible. Uh, my LRMs, not that I have a ton of ammo left for them, but my LRMs, uh, so this I believe is, thanks here is the storms, piss off. Uh, this is two shots, and that's, I think, how many bullets? That's ten. No, I'm not sure what this, why is it two of ten? I'm actually not sure what this represents. Anyway, my plan is I'm just going to go ahead and back up. I got no jump jets or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to back up as much as I can. You know, I should probably run that overlay. So this is basically it. I mean, my uh, speed now has dropped. So I've got a movement speed of three. So I will move back to here. At least that'll be good to get a plus one uh, defense modifier. 
and uh, we'll see who we can hit after that. Again, mostly we'll be shooting at people probably in medium range, but I guess that's the way it goes. Uh, so I will complete that move. Other people will do stuff. So I guess uh, Battle.net is doing a big update in the background. Catapult is crippled and withdrawing. Oh. Really? Is he crippled? I mean, he's missing a weapon. He's still got his medium lasers. I mean, that's his plan. He might still, like, fire on the retreat. Thank you, Here's the Storm. Piss off. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Brussels bot turned to move, so we're still waiting over here. Do, 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 do. Okay, movement phase. Um, just people get up and succeed in their various things. Okay, good for them. Turn to fire. So let's see here. We, with our LRMs, what do we get? We got a shot on a six. On who is this? The catapult. The enemy catapult, which is this one over here which we've been damaging before. That's kind of nice. What kind of laser shots do we have? Uh, probably is mostly just going to be the commando. Yeah, this is the commando on a 7. Hasn't been damaged yet. He's going to do huge amounts of damage to... Well, whichever target he wants to hit with his smurfs, probably he's going to try to finish off the catapult. Unless they're like, oh, he's withdrawing, so I don't have to. And we do have to be a little concerned about heat. Um... Yeah, I think we want LRM the catapult on a 6 plus that's just too good. And that is a really, really heavy mech, so taking it out is going to be important. So I'm going to go ahead and fire both of those. The question is, do I fire the medium lasers? You know, heat is definitely starting to be a little scary. Yeah, and it's in an 8. It was a 7, but it's an 8 now because it's a secondary target. Uh, I mean, 41% is not bad. Um, statistically speaking, we should hit with, with 1 slash 2 of the hits. We should hit with at least one, we should miss with at least one, is, is likely what's going to happen over here. But I feel like it's probably better to not rack up all the heat right now, because our next turn will basically be... If we fired everything, next turn would basically be a null turn where nothing happens. So by keeping it, so this will actually generate... Uh, we'll have a total of 12 heat at the end of this phase, um, which is optimal because 13 is where you get the extra penalty to hit. So we'll just keep it short there. Maybe next turn, next round, we'll go insane and fire everything. But we'll stay just below that. So I'm going to lock in the done. So it looks it looks like um, at the last minute there, again, I guess this, there's got to be a way to, to swap between this and the map. Huh, I wonder what that does when we're back on the map. board no i don't know there's got to be a way to do it to swap back and forth i do like that we get you know the previous round text uh but yeah the uh, i saw the commando turn and and point at me with an arrow so we're gonna go here we're gonna fire at the trebuchet missing both times seriously on a six what was that like 82 percent to hit that's awful wow and the commando over here does fire at me uh medium laser hits uh, hits in the left arm. I still have armor. Uh, hits with the Smurm 4. Hits with three missiles. Okay, we still have armor everywhere. And misses with the Smurm 6. Well, at least, you know, thank goodness for that. I don't think anyone else is shooting at me. A bunch of people need to make piloting rolls. Mostly our opponents. Uh, no, sorry. Brussels Spot is us. Damn it, I keep doing that. So our spider... Uh, Falls over, taking more damage, taking pilot damage. Things are really bad for our spider. Since the color coding keeps throwing me off. Because green is the bad guys, red is the good guys. Ugh. Um, and the bad bot also has to make three piloting rolls. That's the catapult, the one we didn't hit. Uh, it failed the piloting roll, so it's going to fall over, take more damage. Uh, take a bunch of crits internally from the fall, which is kind of amazing. It's got no center um, torso armor. Somehow avoids taking damage. Boo. All right, well, we'll done that up. That's going to be okay. So, yeah, we're sitting at 11 heat. Or, sorry, 12 heat. Which is what I thought. Um, ooh, hello. 
the enemy catapult would hit 16 heat, had to roll to avoid a shutdown, only needed four plus, it failed. So the opposing catapult is currently down. I think it gets to try to start up again every round with a piloting check, but it still means it's going to do nothing this round. And people who are shut down, we get uh, automatic cult shots against them if we want. I think it's a penalty to hit, but it guarantees you hit the location if you called shot someone like that. Uh, again, I got a good initiative roll. I will be... So our team lost. Uh, so bad bot will be the, the final mover. But, oh, that catapult got scrapped completely. Crippling withdrawing, abandoning unit. And you can actually see the mech warrior here. So this guy abandoned the unit. And so he's walking along in the map. So if you're playing more of a campaign thing, you can choose to actually eliminate the actual mech warriors running around. Anyway, this is us. And catapult continues to withdraw. Uh, that's our friendly commando. That's the enemy commando. And again, he's very dangerous. I don't think there's any way for me to get behind him. Yeah, see, that's with a run. That's five units of movement, and we require a piloting check to turn on here. It gets me behind this guy, but that's it. I could end up instead here, and then turn to face him. He, come on, here, and then turn. There's probably hotkeys for this, to do this, but this would all of a sudden become an arend motion, and again, I would have to do some piloting checks, I believe, for this. I might be wrong, because I'm not leaving this tile. It would mean I've done a run, so the associated penalties for me would be there, and it's still only moving two tiles, so I don't get any defensive boost. And this guy, I'd be in his side arc, but his arm could hit me as is, and he can torso twist to face me. So I don't think I can avoid being shot out by this commando. Instead, the best bet might be something like moving out of his short range. I kind of like that idea. So if we back up to say, uh, not there, there, if I back up to here, okay, one, two, so I'm only, I'm only generating, you know, two moves of evasion, but medium range gives him a plus two penalty. If I moved one extra tile, which I could do pretty easily, that would give you him just one difficulty. Here, I generate two difficulty to hit. Um, I could run and, and move somewhere else too. I could just, I mean, I could just sprint to over here. Would that be better? Because that's an enemy trebuchet there, right? Let's say... Go away. I don't... No, I just select myself. There we go. If I instead moved here, I could follow this up with a torso twist as well. Although it doesn't really matter. No, it probably does, because I don't know... If he torso twists, so he's going to face this way, I'm still not at this forearm arc, and I'm not... I don't remember. I think I'd be in his right-hand arc... Uh, it doesn't tell me where his weapons are installed on this little pop-up. Where are your weapons installed? Right arm. So you'd hit, be able to hit me with a single Smurm 4 attack. You know what? I think that's probably good. It'll be plus one to hit because I moved three tiles. Although me running gives me penalties to my hit. I think it's sort of six and one half a dozen of the other. All right, let's make this move because I won't get as many penalties to hit. I also won't generate quite as much heat. Uh, the spider is... Oh, was doing a jump. Oh, no, is ejecting. Trying to eject while prone. Uh, so, yeah, you ejected safely. What is this? Why is this part fails? I'm confused. Landing clear terrain. And then a penalty for ejecting? Oh, 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 I see. You're ejecting and then you're rolling to see if you land successfully without taking damage. So by ejecting while prone, it's a really hard roll. Kathleen failed it, so she took a point of damage after landing from the ejection. So we lose our spider over here, uh, but save our pilot if that matters for the long run. Um, although Scott ejected from the catapult. The catapult is now out completely. Um, so destroyed that way. Fails, pilot eject safely. Yeah, maybe I don't actually understand what's going on with this. But the important thing is, the opposing catapult is out. That is really good. All right, this commando is definitely shooting at me. Although our own commando is shooting at him as well. We've got mech warriors running around on the ground all over the place. There's still an opposing catapult here, which isn't terribly sexy. All right, so with our LRMs, what can we do? 
The best we can get is an eight against this, uh, this trebuchet over here. Whereas with the medium lasers, again, it's the medium range, so we've done our own thing to not necessarily set us up well. Um, it's also an eight. What I think I'm tempted to do, because the commando is lighter, and we've got someone else firing here, although I'm going to get missiled by the trebuchet. I'm taking a lot of damage this round. Um, I think it's probably better to focus fire the lighter mech, try to take him out, especially with my commando helping. So I'm going to fire all three medium lasers there. And then the question is, do I go crazy? Especially now that we're at a nine for the to hit. Interestingly, are we, we're at a nine against the commando as well. You know what? Heat be damned. I'm going to go ahead and fire all the weapons. I'm going to generate an insane amount of heat, and I don't actually have a great chance to hit the commando with the lerms, but we're going nuts. The commando fired at me, missed with the medium laser, missed with the smurm six, hit with the smurm four, all four missiles hit. Bam, bam, bam. It's all armor hit, though, at least, so that's not so bad. Our commando fired at their commando uh, with a single smurm six. Oh, and the smurm four, which then missed. But the six, uh, five of the missiles hit. All armor hits, although the armor's been stripped off the right torso, which is interesting. The um, uh, enemy trebuchet fired at me with its lerms, hit with 12 missiles. Uh, no structure damage, which is good, but my god, my right torso has got almost nothing left. Then finally, I'm going to shoot at the commando. Medium laser hit, miss, hit. Both lerms missed, which, I mean, you know, statistically it wasn't very likely. And all I did is generate a ton of heat. Maybe that was crazy. But... I want to do it anyway. Unfortunately, both uh, laser hits did not penetrate the armor. There's not much left, but it's there. I took 20 plus damage, so I had to do a piloting roll. I succeeded. The opposing commando also had to do that and also succeeded. Uh, there's a heat phase over here. Uh-oh. 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 So I'm at 22 heat. So first of all, you need to roll to avoid a shutdown. I failed, so my mech shut down. Uh, then, to make matters worth, when your reactor shuts down, your mech is suddenly depowered, you have to make a piloting roll to stand up, to stay upright. Uh, I failed that, which means I fell over, taking more damage. Um, then, because I fell, I have to make a roll to avoid taking damage. I failed, so my pilot now has taken damage. And then I have to roll to stay conscious, which I did. That was pretty easy. The problem is, with all the heat I generated, I had to roll... I had to roll just four plus. Easy. Easy. All I have to do is roll four or above on 2d6 to avoid an ammo explosion. I rolled a three, which means my ammo, all my remaining ammo just exploded. And it, when it explodes, it does all of its damage basically to you. So I took 90 points of damage internally for my ammo explosion. Um, and we don't have case in in 3025 so there's no like just one body part going away or anything like that no 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 so this ammo explode uh, our, our our mechs suffering catastrophic damage uh it's going to die uh but we had auto eject system was engaged so it automatically attempting to uh eject me or it is the auto eject system is ejecting me uh, I am prone, so I have to do a roll to see if I, I don't know, take damage or whatever. I, I ejected safely, whatever that means. My mech is being destroyed by ejection, although it was going to get uh, destroyed by this. Look, 90 damage to the right torso, which is where my ammo was, which then transfers, so loses your arm, transfers the raining damage to the center torso, which of course gets obliterated. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I do love this, that you can... Um, so you can pick up on the extra mech warriors. So Kathleen, one of our mech warriors, just got picked up by an enemy battle mech. So as a prisoner or something, I don't know how that works exactly. I guess picked up in the hand because the mechs tend to have hands. I don't know if the trebuchet does, but so um, I'm no longer in the fight. So I have zero battle value remaining of my initial. So clearly, clearly firing all the lerms was a huge, 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 terrible, bad mistake. Um, if I hadn't, I wouldn't have had to do any sort of overheat rolls or anything like that. Um, the shutdown was a little harder to avoid. The overheat, the ammo explosion, all I needed is a four plus. That was, that was rotten. Uh, so now Brussels bot and bad bot are going to duke it out. And Brussels bot is a little ba behind on remaining battle, uh, value over here, but, uh, and it's catapult is still trying to run away. So that this is still being counted. I think as part of it, but it's trying to escape. So we'll just go ahead and fast forward through some of this. All right, firing phase. Again, I, I, I had your turn to fire, except I can't because I don't have a mech. So bad bot is firing. The bad commando is firing at good commando. Hit, 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 hit,
Critical hit on the Smurm 6. Boo. Um, good commandos firing against bad commando. Hit, crit nothing. Hit, crit nothing. Hit, hit. Hit, crit nothing. Hit with the Smurm 4. Hitting the left torso. Destroying the left torso. Blowing off the arm. All right, that's something. Uh, bad trebuchets attacking our good commando. Hit, hit, no crit, no crit. Okay. And then our good commando took 20 plus damage, had to roll to stay up, and is staying up. So I guess there's that at least. And then our commando, good commando's attack is kicking at bad commando. Successfully did it. Uh, not much to talk about with that, though. All right, next round. So what do we have on both sides? We have, on our side, we have our catapult and commando. And the opposing side, they have commando and trebuchet. Although I think our, our catapult, this is still the one that's retreating. Uh, yeah, it's got like no armor left over, basically anywhere. Lost the right arm. Uh, I think if you look at the weapons, I think the star here, the, these LRMs are both gone. All it has is its lasers, but it can certainly keep fighting with that. It says crippled. Is it just because of the missing arm? That I actually don't know. Well, let's see what happens. Um, Quilly Teen. I'm still in initiative order, even though I don't have any presence whatsoever on there. Or do I? Am I actually on the board somewhere? Oh yeah, Stacy, this is me! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what's my movement rate? Oh, it's just a one. Whatever, man. I guess I could have done that last turn. I forgot that I was out here. I like how there's like a body part over here too. I think you can pick that up and use it as a club. Uh, so the catapult has fled the field. So all we've got left on the field is the commando now. Do I have like weapons? It'd be funny if I had like a pistol or something. So no, I'm done. So what's left? Our commando fires at the trebuchet with its medium laser. Hits. Uh, internal structure damage, but no crit. Hits with the smurm. Hit, hit, hit. That does not much. The trebuchet fires back at the commando. Internal structure, no crit. All right. You got this. So we're going to move to here. Is... Is our commando over here trying to retreat? I think that's actually exactly what's happening. Yeah, crippled. So we're going to try to leave the battlefield is what's about to happen. Uh, can I not? How do I move? Oh, flee. Oh, because I'm at the end of the map, so I can flee. Yes. Do you want to save a record of all units, including salvage to a file? That is cool, because um, this there's an extra little add-on um, program at the same... Uh, the same site. It's not, so, this is Mega Mech. I think the other thing is, it's Mech something, uh, and it's a short name, but it'll be on the same download page. It lets you sort of work with these salvage files and play sort of campaign mode, where you can, uh, sort of level up your, 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 your pilots long term, um, you can save your mechs and so on and so forth. It's kind of interesting, and yeah, you can work out salvage details. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no at this juncture. So, winner's team number two. I think if I hadn't fired the LRMs there, and overheated, or if I had rolled a four plus on 2d6, I think we'd have carried the day, because I was actually not in the worst of shape. The following utterly destroyed units are not available for salvage. So the trebuchet, and destroyed by pilot error. <laughs> it's true, oh, destroyed by pilot error. I freaking love it, because you failed to handle the heat. Oh my God, it's so appropriate. Anyway, there you go, there's a, there's a glance at uh, Mega Mech. Um, again, not not necessarily pretty, not the easiest to to understand overall. I'm still a little torn by like the color because it doesn't seem to actually like do the color thing for some reason for the teams. Like, is there a way to configure the team itself? So many options. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, the RPG related is cool because um, if you play the 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 role playing game, like where you're running individual mech warriors, you know, sort of like a D and D kind of thing, but with the mech warriors, and half the time you're also going to be doing mech battles. Uh, you can use your stats from there, and it gives you some some extra ways to com uh, control things. I wonder if you get to use your edge in battle. Edge lets you reroll stuff, I think, or add more or something. I actually don't remember in this particular version of the game what it does, but it can be handy. Damn, man. 
One day. <laughs> that, that battle will go better, I think. Uh, but not today. There's us again. Oh, did they have the same pilot's names twice? Yeah, I didn't realize that both teams were using the same pilot names. Uh, although I guess I could have uh, re-randomized it. So let's say we add a bot again. Here, princess. Team 2. So if I did this and did that and set you to the bot. Yeah, you still, I didn't realize all the names were duplicated. Uh, randomize names. There you go. And you can also randomize skills as well. Like, we could do that with everyone. So, and that can be kind of interesting. Did seriously everyone roll exactly the same skills? 4 or 5? That doesn't seem... Oh, I bet you it's a game option. I bet you have to set an option for something with the skills. I like Paranoid Autosave. Yeah, there's probably something like that. Otherwise, everyone's just uh, forced to use um, baseline skills or something like that. There's too many options. But yeah, I'd, like it's kind of cool. There's so many maps in here. And the fact that you got like the procedural maps and stuff too is like excellent. Ooh, okay, that's that's a lot of stuff. I like all the city fighting too. I don't know why it's called Buildings No Basement. Military base. Oh, that might be a fun place. Or just the suburbs, with the road. Wouldn't that be cool? I kind of I kind of just want to load this and see what it looks like. Um, how this? How do you? Oh, there you go. You could add a double. All right. So add another board. So we could have, in slot one, the city suburbs, and in slot two, city skyscrapers. Uh, view game board, there we go. Then you get a really big map and a completely different fighting style, which is kind of awesome. I still like the idea of just controlling, like, one bot to make myself a little bit, like, just you know, for the effort of learning things. So we put uh, Brussels bot back on team one, and then we give Brussels bot, say, um, those guys over there. At least, okay, so the color seems to have nothing to do with the team flag here. It seems to have everything to do with load order or something like that. So the first person is, is, is blue, the second person in is red, and the third person in is green. There's probably still a way to tune it, but yeah, that actually is kind of spiffy do because now and then I get colors that actually would make it a lot easier for me to follow. Um, oh, I guess the other thing we'd want to do is change the start. I mean, I guess we could still leave it as like start any. That's probably okay because then when you deploy, look at this map. Oh man, I'd really want a jump jet enabled bot over here uh, to jump on top of these buildings and fire down and oh, that would be excellent. Uh, deployment. Oh, that's interesting. So deployment any. I think you you can just deploy anywhere on the map, and you know you might want to cluster things up. Uh, so Brussels bot put the catapult over here, put its commando over here, a couple of enemies there. So I would probably do something like. Can I deploy on a building? Ground. What? Oh, that's interesting. Um. I'm going to play here. I'm, I'm not going to play this. I'm just, like, curious. Like, I could do this, finish my deployment phase, and then it puts me in a pretty good place to, like, maybe do some beatings over here. Although, you got to worry about this catapult. But line of sight being what it is... Actually, it's funny. I don't have line of sight over these guys. Is the building blocking me? There's a, a button. There it is. Uh, middle click, middle click. Sets up a ruler. Yeah. Blocked by terrain. What terrain? I mean, it's not the woods. This, okay, I'm thinking this entire tile counts as being in the building. That's what's going on. The entire tile is building. So it's it's looking a little weird. So we can do something like this. Heck. And that, that's still movement. Oh, it'll probably move away. I'd really wish these guys would move first, because now what I'm concerned about is that I'll do this, and they'll be like, oh, let me just get behind you with my superior light mech movement. Um, because, yeah. Uh, if I go to, like, weapons and this, will it show me? No, I guess I'd have to middle-click, middle-click. 
So these two have line of sight. POV equals zero. Oh, I think it's confused because eh, partial cover. No, zero is good. So from here to there, we'd have vision. And we could do a torso twist. Although, why would I run when I could just back up to here? Oh, because getting around to the buildings. I can, I can run through there, but I can't back up through it. I'm actually not sure. Can I also do a turn? Yeah, I won't have enough movement for it, but I can do this. I'm actually not sure how I pulled off that move. So clearly, some of the movement rules is not something I know. But just as a confirmation, we'll make sure. Oh, I can see over here because it's building height is one. You can see over building height one. He's doing the same thing. He twisted towards me. I will twist towards him. And uh, wow, my lasers are not, or, oh, you. No, no, that is, that is the 10. That's really bad. Although in theory, he's just gonna have as much bad luck to hit me as, as I have against him. Uh, it's probably not worth building up any heat. Although I can build up some heat. Right? Because of the 10. Okay, again, I'm not actually wanting to play here, but if I fire and fire, and I could even try one more firing of the lasers here. So I'll end up with one heat at the end of it, but who knows? One of them might hit. Nope, they all missed. Anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.